No one is questioning his heart, but let's admit, Anthony Joshua probably has a weak chin. Joshua has been down against Klitschko and Ruiz. Dylan White was able to shake him too. He gets the respect for fighting back, but the chin question would definitely haunt him in the future. The very first time his chin was brought into question was against Dylan White, who exposed it, but it was not something that big to be called as a glass chin. Joseph Parker and his team also shed light on Joshua's ability to take a punch. Parker's team was very vocal on the topic and even made a short video to show his questionable chin, including when he was rocked in the Olympics. AJ called it a marketability strategy, one of their main talking points, and fake news. He went on to win against Parker. Carl Froch is one of the critics of Joshua's chin. The former super middleweight champion mentioned that Joshua looks fragile when hit on the chin. He went on to question Joshua's lack of ability to recover. While every fighter has their own weaknesses, very often the weaknesses are hidden behind the strengths. But some weaknesses can't be fixed, and weak chin is probably one of them. Weak chin is primarily genetic in origin and it's very rarely rectified. You either have it or you don't. Punch resistance cannot be improved considerably, maybe slightly, but not significantly. Considering there is a great deal of science behind the knockdowns and knockouts, many people believe that the theory of weak chins is absurd, but is it really the case? The British fighter was later slammed by fans after his first loss against Andy Ruiz, bringing attention back to his questionable chin. This time, his fans have a lot of other excuses and rightly so as the chin was not the only reason behind the defeat. One can argue that AJ has a chin durability somewhere between average and tough, but it would be too harsh to call him a glass chin. I mean, we're not talking about Amir Khan. Considering their huge body weight in the heavyweight division, anybody could shake up their opponent. Even a professional boxer with a glass chin have a much stronger jaw than an average Joe who has never boxed. As always, professional boxers are a set of multiple talents and one strength or weakness cannot completely define them. Otherwise, Ernie Shavers would have at least won a world championship. Same is with the case with AJ, who has many other talents. The British boxer carries a great punching power, he has a good speed for a heavyweight, he can box and move around, he looks well built, and has the availability of all the training routines and equipment a modern boxer is facilitated with. The question is, can Anthony Joshua hide his chin behind all these strengths? Let us know your opinion by writing in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support our channel.